Good morning. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Today's topic. The truth is not popular in today's culture. What do I mean by that? Well, piggybacking off the video I did two weeks ago when I talked about we live in a land of deception so we can avoid the truth is exactly what's going on. See, many of us across the board are afraid of the truth. Why? Because it's going to give us the results that we're not looking for. Let me give you an example. When it comes to going to the doctor, many of us, particularly men, don't like to go to the doctor until it's too late. But we don't want to hear what the results are when it comes to having something such as cancer. But one must understand that the truth is always going to surface to the top, whether we like it or not. And in today's culture, we tend to utilize excuses more because when it comes to bad behavior, that's a big example. We try to have excuses for the bad behavior. But what happens when it comes to truth Truth really gives you the core answer to the issue, even if you don't want to seek it. In today's culture, we don't want to offend anybody because it hurts people's feelings. Now, I've always said the truth will set you free. It will. But you have to accept the truth. The truth is the reality. The truth is not going to be popular. A number of us are looking for everything to build up our self-esteem. But when it comes to something negative like the truth, and the truth is not always negative, by the way. The truth is positive. In fact, there are many truths to any issue. And what I'm bringing you today is take time to live in the real world. The truth is not there to offend you. It's actually there to help you. We have to be more cognizant of the truth and learn how to accept it. When we're accepting bullshit day in and day out to make us feel good as truth, but we're only fooling ourselves. Because at the end of the day, the truth is going to prevail anyway. Now, why is truth negative to some people? Why can't people handle the truth? Well, number one, it may be how the presentation of the truth is being delivered. Now, some of us can deliver harsh reality. It could be the tone of the person's voice who is delivering the harsh reality of the truth. And that's really what is the offensive part. It's not the message itself, but what happens is when we are telling the truth about something, we as presenters get into our feelings and we can be a little bit harsh with our delivery as well. I know I can be. So that's why I learned how to gather the facts and present the truth based on the information that I have. Now, however the person that I'm delivering the information to takes it, that is on them. But I always say strive for the truth. And the truth is not going to be popular. In fact, in this culture, what's popular is deception and lies. And that's a bad thing. This is why individuals aren't living the lives that they want to live because we've encapsulated ourselves into building self-esteem and not accepting the truth. Now, in all communities, we have individuals who do not want to deal with the truth and reality. And that's a shame. 
Because when you deal with any truths and any realities, it's going to help your cause. And another portion of this culture that we're living in, it's the culture of denial. A number of us deny that we have problems. A number of us believe that the truth presses our buttons. Now, nobody wants to be criticized. But constructive criticism is to help you. And constructive criticism is to help expose some of your deficiencies. And when you deal with truth, you're never going to be disappointed because you know what the outcome is. Of course, nobody wants to continue to have negative outcomes. But the truth is also to help you change your position on many issues. Now, if you look at the political climate in this country, politicians never tell the truth. Why? Because the important people to help politicians get elected are the constituents. Because the constituents are the ones who are funding their campaigns. See, the regular average American, when it comes to politics, has always been lied to. But many of us don't see that. It's funny how we go out and vote and we cheer on our guy or girl when they're giving political speeches. But at the end of the day, the truth is problems will never get solved. Why? Because the American people are easy to do. You can conjure up lies by getting into the feelings of individuals who are uninformed. And when it comes to politics, well, politics will never fix any of the issues. The truth of the matter is, you as an individual and I as an individual have to fix the issues that we have in our own lives. This is why it takes a community to raise a proper child to help that child prosper in everyday life. But telling that child that they're right when they've done something wrong to make that child feel good gets that child the impressibility, the impression ability that they're going to be entitled to rest of their lives not to hear the truth because we don't want to hurt the child's feelings. And the first person in the food chain that you must tell the truth to is your children. The problem with parents today is that they're lazy parents. In fact, the number of parents themselves are still children themselves. I don't care if they're 18 or 59. Follow the action. What parents want to do with their children is give their children everything they want so they don't have to deal with their children. That's bad parenting. Parents don't tell their children the truth. In fact, you have a lot of moms when it comes to a single mother situation or a divorce situation, they're always going to tell the child that the daddy wasn't shit. But when the smoke clears, it's the mom who isn't shit because the child is under the mom's watch. The bottom line, when you are trying to expose an issue for what it is, you must do it unapologetically and without emotion. Now, of course, in life, everything isn't perfect. But being truthful should be your journey because to tell the truth is to teach now of course there are going to be positive results with the truth but that's only how you take it the truth is really there to correct a deficiency this is why i've done my fair share of videos on mental health issues if you have an issue you keep sweeping it under the rug you're not really getting to the truth about the matter. You're, you're denying the truth. And you're denying it because you don't want to hear the truth. This is why some people 
react with vigor in their emotions when you try to tell them the truth about themselves because they don't want to hear about themselves. This is why they point fingers. This is why they shame you. And no, I'm not talking about black women. I'm talking about people in general. That's why I wanted to put that caveat out there because being a black YouTuber, when an African-American male speaks, the black women are going to come out thinking that we're talking about them. I don't talk about black women in my videos. But when it comes to truth, I expose everybody because we live in the human race. Although we are different cultures and it's supposed to be the melting pot of America. That's what the label has been given to this country for a long time, even though it doesn't feel like a melting pot. And that's the truth. The bottom line with every situation is you have to let the truth prevail. Because when you don't, you're always going to live in a land of denial, deception, darkness, and you talk about honesty. When you're living in a land of dysfunction, because individuals who are giving you the information aren't giving you the proper information for you to seek the truth, because they're not telling the truth themselves. And you have a number of nefarious, which nefarious means wicked, wicked people out here. That's right, when I say nefarious, I mean wicked. And people in general have bad lives, and they won't want to see that they have bad lives. Let me repeat that. A number of individuals don't want to see that they have bad lives. They deny them. They have denial in their position when they are presenting information to you as an individual. A lot of these politicians out here, educators, they don't care about you. They're not going to tell you the truth because they want you to keep coming back to vote for them. They want you to keep coming back to buy their products. They're never going to seek the truth. But when you can follow people's actions, you will get the result that you're looking for, but you've got to be observant. See, the truth is not about making someone feel good. It's about coming to the conclusion that what went on from start to finish regarding of the issue took place and it was properly evidenced and documented and then presented to you in one form or fashion and you may not like what you hear, this is why you're going to utilize the shaming tactics and the not, because you knew it took place. You knew what position you were in. But you didn't want to deal with the truth. And that's the problem in this culture. We think truth is a bad thing. The truth is always going to set you free, if you allow it to set you free. We can't keep living in a land of denial delusion because what's happening is people are going to be misinformed and when you're misinformed that's going to hurt you financially it's going to hurt you physically psychologically and you talk about being damaged and dysfunction well when you're lied to constantly you're not going to be any good as a person once you find out that you've been lied to but a lot of us will take the lie over the truth to make us feel good. And that is very, very bad. Again, we'll justify bad behavior for other types of bad behavior. Why? Because we don't want to take responsibility for the bad behavior. We will shame somebody for actually putting the truth out there. Why? Because we've been living in denial and in delusion. And we think what we're doing is okay when it isn't okay. A lot of us have been brought up in a land of PC, political correctness. And what that does, it just gives us carte blanche or excuse to continue utilizing bad behavior for our own justification or narrative. Well, at the outcome, when you're doing that, looking at your own narrative instead of what the truth is, all you're doing is lying to yourself. Remember, folks, when it comes to cheating, 
you're not cheating the other person or the other party. You're cheating yourself if you want to live in denial or delusion or paranoia. The best option for everybody is to seek the truth. The truth is ultimate. Now, there are many truths out there, too. But truth isn't always going to be what we want it to be. See, we want everything to be positive. That's the problem. We forget when it comes to the overall spectrum, there's evil out there. And if you don't believe me, look what happened in Nevada. Look what happened at the Pulse nightclub. Look what happened over in Paris, France with the domestic terrorism and the international terrorism that is taking place. Look at domestic violence. Look at college education. Look at what this country has become. This country has become a land of delusion instead of the dream. The people who have the dream create the rules so they can have the dream, but they lie to us by telling us we can have the dream. Certainly we can have the dream, but the lower you are on the food chain, you got more hoops to jump through to get the dream. Why? Because in retrospect, if you're going to be financially free in this country, you can't have any debt and you have to manage your money properly and you have to invest your money properly. Once you do that, then you are in the top 1%. You notice when you hear people from the left politically, they talk about tax cuts for the rich. Well, what they're doing, they're lying to you because they are in the 1%. They know that they're going to continue to get richer because they're going to take their money and they're going to put it offshore in the other commodities like islands and real estate that is not taxed at a high rate other places. They don't want to get rid of the corporate tax rate. But if you get rid of the corporate tax rate and take it down from 40 to 15 percent, that's going to help business stay here. They don't want to tell you that. Why? Because the people at the top who are making all the rules get the most money. They don't want a society that everybody prospers because it will get them out of power. And that's the whole object of getting to the truth. You have to look at the action. You have to hear what's being said to make any type of recommendations on what's true and what's not true. Most of us are so embedded in our emotions, we wouldn't even know truth if it slapped us in the face. And we wouldn't even care about it. Why? Because when you're in your feelings, you're not going to listen to a lot of information, particularly if it's negative information, because you want to keep everything in a positive fashion. It's great to be positive, but... Dealing with the issues that you have as an individual will lead you to positivity. But it's how you react to the negative truth that is upon you. Now, none of us want to be called out on any of our issues. But the truth of the matter is it is our issues as individuals that are causing the downfall of society. From the top all the way down, it's nothing but lies. And we've been living the lies ever since the 1960s. The peace movement. It's no peace movement. It's all delusion. The equality movement. There's no true equality. Everybody knows that. It's just something that's put out to make one feel good. And I know we live in a so-called gynocentric society. And the reason why it's perceived that we do, it, it, it's, it's because many of us, many of us don't want to deal with the fact that everything in life is about money. That's what we fail to see. Once you understand the real issue on hand, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get to the bottom of the issue known as truth. You don't have to live in lies. The truth is never going to be popular. 
but it will set you free. All this delusions of grandeur, this passiveness, this PC to raise people's self-esteem is smoke and mirrors. You can watch different TV shows out there when you're having a bad day and you, you'll hear something that someone says that you agree with, but then after that TV show is over with, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to go back to the same person you were before that TV show that came on and you heard somebody say something that makes you feel good, you feel like you can run the world, that's delusion. Truth of the fact is, your life is in a quagmire right now, and you don't want to accept that. And that's the problem with individuals who have a hard time dealing with truth and criticism. And in politics, basically what politicians do is cater to people's feelings. We really don't get what we want in society unless we as individuals understand how the system works. And since a number of us don't understand how the system works, we end up getting fed all of the lies. And then when the truth is told to us, we react with vitriol, with hatred. That's why the truth is unpopular. In fact, to tell you the truth about this country, it's upside down. I mean, people make excuses every day on why they're late for work when the obvious is at bay. They don't want to go to work. People make excuses for why they don't want to be in a relationship with this person anymore, but the truth of the matter is they don't want that person anymore. But many people don't know how to explain or present the truth, and many people don't know how to receive the truth. But the bottom line, we have to stop fighting with the truth. Because the truth is always going to prevail, or prevail whether we like it or not. It is how you take the truth. Now, some might disagree, and that's fine. Because disagreement is also part to getting to the truth. And I believe clarity over agreement and disagreement anyway, because as long as you follow the action, and following the action is by doing fact-finding without emotion, and you're doing it unapologetically, you're always going to get to the truth. And the bottom line, it's to be informed. Many of us are not informed when it comes to anything, and we don't care to be informed. Because we are comfortable, and this is the truth, living in a lies and deception. Again, because it caters to our self-esteem. This is why today's culture is very soft. Because they don't want to deal with the nicks and bruises that are required to get to the pinnacle. And many of us don't even want to get to the pinnacle because it's hard work. Many of us don't want to stay in the relationships that we have, even though the partners are good for each other, because it's hard work. The truth of the matter is, if you understand the issues at hand, it's not necessarily following your heart, it's following the action that is going on in front of you. We walk around with too many blinders on and we just throw everything under the rug in denial like it didn't happen. And a number of us, after everything that's gone on, what are we going to do? After a month or two, we're going to sweep it under the rug like I just said before. And we're going to pretend it never happened. Look at what happened at the Pulse nightclub. Look at what happened in Paris. That's all under the rug. Nobody talks about it. And a few months down the road, and I'll give you January, or maybe even February, you won't even hear about what went on in Las Vegas. And the truth of the matter is government doesn't react to anything unless numerous people die. 
You look at the hurricanes that have taken place. This is when government is going to get involved. But for the most part, government doesn't want to be bothered because their jobs are very cushy. They don't have to do any work. This is why politicians, the truth of the matter is, they gerrymander all the districts so the incumbent always wins. Why? Because it's a comfortable job for them. They get their pensions paid for. They have a lavish lifestyle, all funded for them by us working people. I know Donald Trump is ta talking about the tax code. Believe it or not, I saw it. It's not going to change. He wants to double the standard deduction, but what you lose when it comes to the taxes is that $4,000 individual deduction, I believe. And if you change the tax code from 10% to 12% for the bottom, guess what happens? The people at the bottom end up paying more. So that's where I found a flaw in his tax plan. He didn't tell the truth right there. But because I looked it up myself, I knew what the situation was. And that's what you have to do to get to the truth. Although the truth hurts, it must be sought and it must be utilized as a corrective action matter. If you keep living lies and delusion and airy-fairy and nuts and berries lives, you're always going to be disappointed because you'll never get to where you want to go. But the step to getting to any pinnacle of your life is not to avoid the truth. The truth can help set you free no matter what. Let me give you another example. If you're having bill problems, but you're spending your money on a lavish lifestyle that you can't handle, then the truth of the matter is you need to cut back on your entertainment and take care of your finances because nobody's going to do them for you. But many individuals want to continue to feel good. Now, I know what I'm presenting is message regarding the truth. But for the most part, people are going to be comfortable living in the lies of deception and fantasy because it uplifts their self-esteem. But when you get to the bottom of the matter, you can do the same thing over and over and over and over again during your life, thinking that you're going to get a different result. The truth of the matter is, you're going to get the same result. And the only way that result is going to change is you as an individual must take an opportunity to get the truth about what you're doing or what you're not doing. Because the truth, no matter how you slice it, is always going to prevail. Why? Because it's like oil. When that oil surfaces to the top of the water, you have dirty water. Well, the same thing with the truth. You're never going to get rid of the truth, no matter how unpopular it is. So the best thing to do is be an adult and deal with the truth. Because in the end, no matter how much delusion, grandeur, deception, misinformation, and lies you've been told, all those give you this temporary feeling. But if you want a real comfortable feeling, engulf yourself in the truth. Why? Because the truth will give you an opportunity to work out any issue that you have in your life. But you must be willing to work out the issues. So if you want to get to the truth, Take responsibility as an individual and look at yourself. Because too many of us blame other people, but it's the individual that must 
live for getting the truth, the information. Because again, living in the land of denial, living in the land of fantasy, living in the land of deception is going to keep your life the way it is, in peril. So do yourselves a favor. Seek truth, no matter how much it hurts. Because in the end, the truth will set you free. And it's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Soul Radio Show for this morning, Saturday, October 7th, 2017. You can tune in to the 401 Talk Soul Radio Show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215 383 5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Soul Radio Show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I don't engage in debates, controversy, or emotional issues, and that just depends on how the person is receiving the information. Nor do I participate in drama and or unnecessary bickering because it is a waste of time and counterproductive. What I'm here to do is teach to give you the information so you'll understand how the real world works and you won't be living in the land of lies, deception, airy-fairiness, and emotion. You will be able to seek the truth and you can solve any issue confidently when it comes at you. So there will be no reason to be uncomfortable with seeking truth. Why do I say that? Because knowledge is power. And if you have a topic, a new YouTube channel, and a business that you would like for me to shout you out on the air, whether it's Blog Talk Radio or YouTube, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comment in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy, no bloviating, pettifogging, filibustering, if you wish to opine. Now that's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed day.